Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here. And uh, today I've got out my 300 Blackout. This is my primary weapon. This is, I've got other ARs. You guys just saw that I recently painted one. I'm probably going to paint this one as well as it is seriously my primary. Um, this is an Anderson lower with a Palmetto State Armory 16 inch uh, complete upper. Um, as a matter of fact, the entire kit other than the lower uh, and the fact that I put an ergo grip on this is part of Palmetto State Armory. Um, they were generous enough to send this to me. If you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description down below. And uh, we're gonna zero this gun and I'm gonna go over the steps that I take to zero my guns and what I want to achieve by doing that. And we're gonna talk about that coming up next. Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to bring up uh, today's sponsor. That is Pact. Uh, these guys make um, these um, timers for doing your different shooting exercises and things like that. And uh, I can tell you that this thing is wicked cool. It's got a delay timer, it's got instant timer. So if you're timing your friend, you can just hit the button whenever you want, or it'll actually do what it, you know, you can set it up to be a delay. Uh, it randomizes the delay as well as keeps all of your times in in the um, memory so you can go back through and see how your progression is so if you guys are interested check these guys out packed and uh, i'll put a link in the description for sure down below on how you can pick one of these things up all right so we do have the aac uh, 110 grain 300 blackout v max uh, ammo this is what i prefer to shoot um, so obviously you want to zero your gun with what you want to shoot uh, you know, there's a lot of debate out there on, hey, what should my zero be? And I've found that me personally, for 300 blackout, I like a 50 yard zero. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of stuff with that as far as like, okay, well, what happens if I'm 20 yards? What's going to be the different impact? Things like that. We'll put those in a separate video. But today we're going to shoot this and uh, we're going to talk about... <clears throat> The results that I'm getting, we're going to record through the uh, Eagle Vision Scope Cam so you guys will be able to see in real time uh, exactly what I'm doing. Let me just get myself sort of situated here. All right. And this is the uh, ZeroTech um, LPVO. We're going to talk more about them for sure. So let's go ahead and start our recording. Hopefully that thing just started. Yep. And let's go ahead and put our first round on target safety safety first kids I do it all the time all right so right now we are definitely high so I'm gonna just raise this up and I should be good there let's go ahead and put another round And we went a little low. Guess I didn't need quite that much. All right, one more time. I'm gonna do a three shot. All right, so overall not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that thing down. Let's bring our objective over a little bit here. All right, let's try the same target. That's a very good group. Very good. Give her the old Tasco tap. And let's start with a fresh target. We're just gonna hit this one on the outside here.
So it's still not too bad, but not perfect. And uh, we definitely want to get this thing a little bit more on to target here. Let's try that. Start with another fresh target. Still a little bit. I'll loosen this thing up just a little bit. There we go. All right. One more group, fresh target. All right, what the heck? Stand by. Almost like it didn't want to move on me, and then it did all of a sudden. One more time, fresh target. All right, just a little bit high still. We're going to go ahead and bring her down. Three clicks ought to do it. It's about an inch. There we go. That's a great group. So we're going to go ahead and call that a, a good one for sure. Oop, our cam kind of came out of whack here. But uh, let's go ahead and stop that. We're going to pull this off. And uh, we're going to examine... Our shots because I can see way better yeah that's that's a great group and uh, we've probably still got a few more rounds so I'm gonna go ahead and one more time I'm just gonna shoot one last group all right there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the camera, walk down range, and uh, we'll talk about what kind of groups we got. I'm gonna shut this off on my way down. Okay, so here we have um, our initial shots. This is where I was aiming originally, and I got this group. So I adjusted over, not enough, or actually too much, and then I got this, which was my fault. You know, I'm just trying to get it so it's it's actually just a little bit there. Um, then we had another group that was, it kind of adjusted up. I started bringing it down, still trying to get that to come down. And then there was our final group. And uh, while I would say that if I was doing precision shooting um, in here, let me let me adjust the the uh, the uh, camera here. If I was doing precision shooting, I would be much more worried about that half an inch, quarter inch high, right? I really would. But at the end of the day, this is a primary defense weapon. So I'm not as concerned about 100% like, oh my gosh, if I don't take out that two inch target at 100 yards, because look at my target area, right? This is my target area. Most people are gonna be in the ballpark, give or take. So if I'm aiming here and it hits here, or I'm aiming here and it hits there, or I'm aiming there and it hits there, we're still, we're still doing the job. So the other nice thing about having that 50 yard zero is that shooting down at 100 yards, I should be relatively close probably going to be maybe an inch or two high but once again when you're talking about a target we're not talking about precision shooting this isn't my rim fire where I'm trying to you know shoot those very small targets at distance we're not talking about my 308 or any of my long range shooters we're talking about a defensive weapon that in all honesty and I talked about this earlier um, on a live is 
Here's something that happens all the time. Um, you can train with your pistol nonstop, and you can be a very good shot. You can shoot all the competitions. You can be quick. You can be nimble. You can never miss. You could be ranked super high. Take yourself out of that position and put yourself into a life or death situation. A lot of that stuff goes right out the window. I personally have never been in a combat situation where I've ever even had the ability to kind of, I guess if there's such a thing as getting used to being shot at, but if you look at the majority of police footage where police are involved in shootings, bad guys are shooting at them, they're shooting at bad guys. I mean, how many videos have we seen where cops empty two magazines and nobody got hit, right? And you're talking about the other side of a car. You're talking about 20 feet away. So a lot of that stuff is, dare I say, just kind of a little, man, do the best that you can. So when I look at a group like that, I know that the barrel's good. I know that the rifle is accurate. And I'm not worried about that quarter inch, right? I'm not a sniper, I'm not claiming to be one. I'm just trying to get the, the gun to perform well. And we did in that final group. It's shooting well. It likes that ammo, it's doing well. So hopefully this is something that we can build off of now, right? Because now what I want to do is I want to let the bore cool off and then I want to come back and shoot another group. And I want to see how we do and We'll bring that to you guys coming up next. All right, guys, so we're back and uh, I did adjust my um, turret down one click just to accommodate for that quarter inch, three eighths of an inch that was high. We're gonna take a couple of shots. I'm just gonna do three at 100 yards. We'll take the camera down there and show you guys what I got, but uh, Keeping in mind too, this is a second focal plane, so we're gonna get a little bit of shift going on, but we'll see what we can get. Let's go ahead and make ready, and let's try for that target there. Now I do one more. There we go. It always does that. It always bounces out behind me. I don't inject it hard enough. But let's take a walk down there and we'll see what kind of group we got at 100 yards. Same zero as we had at 50. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys. So here we are. We're down here. And you can see my group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six shots, about an inch and a half. Uh, this was my point of impact. So what are we talking? We're talking four, about six inches high at 100 yards. So that's gonna help me to realize that, okay, my crosshairs are definitely at uh, 50 yards zero. At 100, I'm gonna be six inches high so i'm going to use my hold under to shoot my 100 yard targets so there you have it at least now i have an idea i can use the hash marks on my reticle to be able to account for this this six inch height right so you figure that's that's one two three four five six right so six well it's technically one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're still right at that six, six and a half. So there you have it. I'm excited. Um, I can trust my weapon. Um, I know that that's a good group. I mean, you know, that's, it's, you know, inch and a half, two inches at 100 yards. You know, that's, that's, that's more than sufficient. So I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out and uh, hopefully you learned something today. And if you did, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't hit the down button. Just don't be a Sally, hit the up button anyway. And then just drop a comment down below and help me to learn something new. So if you're one of those people that you're like, you're doing it wrong, well, 
tell me in the comments down below. Let's get a thread started. I'm not above reproach, and I'll certainly take your advice. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Till next time, be good to each other. God bless.